Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and this is going to be my reaction to uh, Attack on Titan Season 4, the final season, Part 2, Episode 3. So uh, the real number will be in the thumbnail. <laughs> this could culminate in, in a lot of bad ways. All of the government officials that have been pr previously held underground in cells are now out milling about. They all drank the wine. Falco could turn into a titan at any moment so he confesses to Gabi. She doesn't exactly return his feelings, which I mean, I don't think she really looked at him twice, so it's unfortunate. But she was still like, okay, let's go to Zeke. Let's stop him from screaming. We're, we're not gonna, you're not gonna turn into a titan, Falco, I promise. I'm getting so many nerves though. I don't know what's about to happen. So without further ado, I say we just get into this. Let's just, let's just do it. Oh, that's right. And Peek and Commander McGath just landed like the best possible hit to Zeke. Is there any possible way that Zeke like- Oh, Galliard, yes. That was his name. Oh my gosh, he's getting like slaughtered. Oh my gosh, Flock, shut up. Whoa! All of these buildings look really new. So uh, I guess they did rebuild, huh? Oh jeez, Yelena, what 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 is going through your head, you sociopathic? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Zeke is out. See, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, you were shot. Couldn't even tell, could you? Oh, they're memories. Right, because Krista did this to Aaron a few seasons back. <laughs> seasons back. Porco just oh my gosh, Porco saw it! He saw Marcel's memories! Oh god, Porco, I hope you realize now what Marcel put you through. No, 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 Zeke, no. Oh, Aaron said no, but he stopped anyway because of this. Oh my gosh, he actually feels bad. Look at Aaron! Aaron doesn't like it either! Cold. You're not the kind of person that would bring kids into this. Yeah, Zeke doesn't want to bring Falco into it because he's a kid. He's doing this for the children, right? The children that are never born, oh gosh. Aaron. Porco, oh my gosh. Shoot. No. That's it. You all should have stand, stayed underground. Gabi. Gabi, run. You could see the veins in- Pixis. Yeah, that's it. And suddenly the tides have turned. Falco. It's happening again for you, Gabi, isn't it? And you lived for him. He was the one to save you from, you know, really dark stuff, a really dark place. Are you sure? Whoa! What was that? Whoa! Mikasa! Hey, no, no, Reiner, no. Why? Porco! Okay. So... Oh, jeez! Wow! They're not actually gonna- <gasps> Wait! God- <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait a minute. Is she gonna get him? <gasps> she got him. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I feel sad about that. This whole thing is think of the children. And Zeke's like, I am thinking of the children. And they don't deserve to- Like, they- they- deserve to not exist in this horrible world. Again, like, I refuse to believe that Aaron actually is telling the truth here. Yeah, he didn't take it. Yeah, Aaron's planted something. What is with this? Something very, like... What the... Armin. All of the memories? Grisha! Ymir! Oh my gosh, Zeke actually made it. No, that's Eren! And Zeke is in chains? 
Okay, so why is it Aaron in chains and you're not? But it feels like years? She's at the center of all of it. Of course, because she created the Titans. Yeah, please explain. Oh, yeah. And, here, and here's where Aaron's gonna make a different command. Yeah, look at those eyes. He doesn't recognize Zeke anymore. <laughs> yeah, you you thought. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Yes. She can't obey you either because you're not of royal blue. Royal blood. <laughs> but what? Wait, what's going on? But she's, I mean, she's a slave to every titan shifter if she does that. So that was all. Yeah, I was suspecting that. Zeke, Zeke was playing Aaron too. So, so Zeke, just in an instant, was able to spend years with the Founder and just, by sheer force of will alone, break those chains? I thought those chains- I, I thought Zeke had put those chains there to, like, bait Eren into revealing his true feelings. If that was true, and those- those chains would have even affected Zeke, what was Gre Grisha even fighting for? They wanted to obtain the Founding Titan's power. Right? They wanted to rise up against Marley. But if that was the case with Zeke, even, if that was the case, then, I mean, if even Zeke was, was, I mean, sure, he spent so many years with the Founder when they made contact, but through those years, he was able to, what? He was able to, to, to nullify the vow renouncing war? Come on, seriously? Really? If that's true, then Grisha and Dina and all of those people who fought for Eldia's victory, they were fighting for nothing. Because if they, even if they had tamed the Founding Titan, the, the Founding Titan would be able to, wouldn't be able to do anything. What, like a walk through memory lane? Is that how Zeke's going to try to fix? Oh gosh, I don't like that. I can't help but think of the, uh, of a line from a movie I saw recently. You tried to fix me, <laughs> now I'm gonna fix you. Uh, I really hope that he doesn't actually fix like he doesn't succeed because i mean any way you look at this zeke has the power to carry out his plan but zeke is an enemy and that's the thing you can't come all this way in attack on titan of all animes for the enemy to for the enemy to win Eren has changed too much he has fought too hard i don't even know what he's fighting for anymore but the, the this this place this coordinate where Ymir and Zeke and Eren are doesn't exactly ring freedom. It's it's solitary. And though it's very beautiful, how can one be free if they see the same thing for miles and miles and miles? Freedom is about running somewhere and escaping the things that, that have, have previously bound you. And I mean, when I saw Ymir, I mean, her 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 eyes are are faded out. She's not quite there. And that's because I think that she's a slave to the will of of the the, the people with royal blood. I really want to know what's going on with her. I feel like what Zeke just did will be his undoing because to me it almost seems like Zeke is trying to like do that that mustache twirling villain speech at the end like, "Oh, I thought that I could trust you. I'm glad I was able to see your true intentions, but now I'm going to now I'm going to carry out my plan and my will to euthanize all of Eldia. But first I'm going to set you free. Aaron has been fighting for freedom for the longest time. He's not about to go out in chains now. I don't see that happening. That that will not happen. I didn't really have anything else to to say on that. I thought like, when, when Falco- I didn't really react much, or emote much, but when Falco died, when Falco turned into a titan, I thought, like, this is- like, Gobby's gonna blame herself forever. This is going to be, like, the beginning of Gobby's turnaround arc. Everything's gonna be fine. Well, no, I mean, everything's- everything's not going to be fine for Gobby. She's going to, like, this is going to completely, like, devastate her, and she'll- she'll rise a new person, but not even, like, not even ten minutes later. 
Corco gets eaten by Falco. And the thing is, Zeke hesitated. Falco is the one, really. I feel like Falco has carried season four, to be honest, because he helped Gabi become a better person. He took care of Eren, so much so that Eren, like, seems to, seems to have some sort of, um, I don't know, fondness for him? Like, he, he seems to care a little bit. And then, of course, Zeke was all about doing this for the future of, like, ironically, for the future of Eldia, right? I'm doing this so the children that would be born into this world don't have to suffer because they'll never be born. Eren is like, I don't, I don't, I'm no, no, I'm not gonna go around, go along with your, with your messed up plan. I'm not gonna do that because I was born and I am doing this for the birthright of every single person on this planet who has been oppressed, not just by Marley, not just by the Titans. I, I want a good world where, where everyone is free. I knew it from the very start. Like, Aaron, you can't fool me. You can lie and cheat and do all of these things, but I was with Attack on Titan since the beginning. I, well, okay, not the beginning of the manga. I, since the beginning of the anime. Okay, maybe I was a little late to the party. I don't know. Basically, I was there for season three. <laughs> And I was there for season four. Technically, I was there for season two as well, but I can't really remember back that far. But yeah, I think that's it. So be sure to like and comment and subscribe and ding the bell for notifications. You don't have to, but it would be cool if you did. Comment below, please, on, on what you think is going to happen here. Just, they made contact. And I don't know if Eren's dead or not. Like, that's the other thing. Gami shot his head off. Clean off. So if Eren, like, actually died right there what does this mean for the like the the, the 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 intro obviously shows that the rumbling is going to happen unless it doesn't and that's just a big cop out i don't think that's a cop out though maybe Aaron is dead but in this in this moment this moment of years inside the inside the paths inside the coordinate he does activate the rumbling maybe and then like once the rumbling is over and done with he dies is that what happens I don't know. It, it's puzzling. I want to know about Ymir, I want to know about Zeke, I want to know about Eren. And I want to know what happens on the other side if the rumbling does indeed come to pass. So, uh, yeah. You don't have to do any of those things, but I am trying to make this a source of income for me, so it'd be super super cool if you did, and uh, thank you for staying, and have a nice day.